morning people welcome back to the farm and uh, the geese and the ducks have just been fed it's about 6 a.m. and last night me and Toon we'd placed some rat traps in the rice farm so we checked them last night at about 8 o'clock just before we headed in for uh, for a shower and, and bed and uh, we're just going to go and check them this morning. Well, I am seems busy doing the other ducks around the house, so let's go and have a butcher's. Started to get the misty mornings now. Usually a sign that the the rain season's on its way out, and Thailand's version of winter is upon us. So, uh, nice and cool this morning. This is the first little opening that me and Toon have been hand cutting some rice. Lee, what are you doing hand cutting rice? You're numpty, just get a bloody combine harvester in for 500 baht of rye. And not all the rice is, is ready, and what it is, the animal rice, so the, the, the duck and chicken and geese and um, turkeys. They're fed on a mixture of pellet, rice and a couple of other foods. So um, rather than get the combine in early and get a load of green rice, we've been hand cutting it. Um, well, some people might think, well, if you're only giving it to your animals, you can give them the green rice as well as the, the golden rice. That is true, but we need to save quite a few kg back because we're growing more rice straight afterwards. So we need it all all ripe so to speak and the reason we're getting rat traps in here uh, we found a few tracks and a few holes yesterday and they have been eating the rice so we need to get their numbers down Toon also fancies them in the pot so let's have a look ah, for fuck's sake. that's the first trap that sprung now this did spring last night and it sprung sprung again you can see where the old chaps come from the way you know whether it's um, vacant or not is by the state of this stuff if it's all small and looks fairly fresh then you know that they've been in and out of there Down here. This is a different type of trap. This is a catch them alive trap. I'll just spring it. So, nothing in there. They've got a little bait in there. And pulls the spring shut. They've got the door shut. Right, so that's two. Well, two zero to the to the rats. I'll just try and find a track for you. Got to be careful, I'm still half asleep. I want to be careful where I'm walking. Oh, down. No, you can't really see it. I'm not going in there at the minute. It's a bit snaky. Right. Three more to check. I'll just leave these two here. Uh, the guy from the other village that's let us put our ducks in here, him and his wife were down yesterday. We're having a chat with him. He is going to grow rice again soon, so we need to get the, the last little bit of straw out of there. Uh, we hadn't got onto his second little bit here. I uh, guess what he did. That's right. Burned it. We're not bothered. We've got loads and loads of straw, but it's just sad that rice farmers feel the need to burn it off anyway, right down here as a side note we're incredibly happy with how the rice is turning out we've had loads of compliments from the from the locals uh, the seed is really really full and lots of it there's a few little iffy patches but generally speaking it's excellent 
far far better than we'd hoped for. Right, there's two more to check here. That's called an epic fail. And one more round here, which was a bit more hopeful looking. Yeah, we've only cleared this little bit and an even smaller bit where I've just been further further back there. I think a point is back in full effect guys. Um, and that's been enough for feeding oh, must be 160 animals three times a day. Right, let's see if we've got one. Fuck's sake. Sprung. So that's three efforts, three sprung traps from last night and this morning. One last trap to check. Someone else up early just gone past. Now this one was a bit more tricky to find last night. To put like a little blue line on it, tied it to some rice. Yeah, I can see it now. Right, fingers crossed. an epic fail. These are bloody lethal these are. Always spring them before you, you pick them up. Got a tune on a thumb knuckle yesterday. She was gutted, she said it was a favourite thumb. Uh, but yeah these are flipping so highly sprung. Bait-wise is a bit strange. I don't know what the heck it is. It's like a, it's like a thick paste. It's like a bloody toad turd. Um, and you just mould a bit onto a little spike there, and then you burn it with a lighter for about five seconds. And then when it goes out, it just set your trap. And it's, I don't know, it's almost like a paraffin type smell. Right, so that's called an epic fail. So if you'd like to uh, learn how to fe uh, effectively hunt for rats, you can download our ebook called Not a Friggin' Chance. And uh, hopefully you can do better than us. I'm not too bothered cutting the rice anyway, but um, I'll say Toon did want to eat some rat. I'm really not fussed about them. I, I have eaten them, and if we were absolutely skint as anything then yeah I'd eat it pack of power is alright with it they, they chop it up including the bones incredibly fine and uh, it's very very good healthy meat for you but I'd rather just either sell them some people sell them for a 200 baht a kg um, or just I'd, I'd just fry them in the duck pond good food for the catfish Right, that's it. What a cracking morning. That is... Stunning, that is. Just coming over the mountain. Lovely jubbly. Right, get back. I've got to feed me fish. Then I really need some caffeine. Thanks for watching, guys. Short and sweet, just like me. <clears throat> Not. Ta-da for now.
ไปหาลุงลีดิเย้ไรซ์ฟาร์มเกิลสองมือสองมือเย้นี่สองมือให้ลุงลีดูเย้เย้เอโยโยโยโยเอโยโยโยโย